One of the very few anti-clockwise circuits in the LOM 1138 Cup Series, this is the Brazilian Grand Prix. Two DRS zones and 15 corners surely will make a fantastic race here in Interlagos. And we've started the race here at Interlagos. Lucas Dirksen with the penalty start. Same with Luke Tennyson, as well as the Haas of Rafael Spring and the Ferrari of CL Austin. You've got Jup Juan Luhan on CL Austin, who was in P4. CL Austin fighting their back. Jump Juan oh, wow. Luhan also fighting with Rafael Spring. And there's chaos in the first corner. Yellow flags throughout sector one. We are on board with the leader's teammate, Aaron Malera. We're now on board with Dominic Kuchin. We saw Haas off the road there as we go down the DRS straight here. The McLaren of Aaron Malera goes down the out turn on the inside of Jardot Zerzak. He gets the inside racing line. Aaron Malera gets the outside racing line. He passes the Aston Martin. The Aston Martin loses out. Jardot Zerzak wheel to wheel with the McLaren of Malera. Jardot Zerzak eventually takes P13. Wheel to wheel of the front with Cell Austin. Alex Ixe in the upper three goes a bit wide, goes wide again. Cell Austin is now in P8. Alex Ixe will try and fight this, but Ciel Austin closes that door on the Alfa Tori. On the Alfa Romeo offside, the Alfa Lauer goes down the outside. Yes, he will. He goes down the outside. Dominic Kuchin fights it. Alfa Lauer, he gets that position. He's now in P4. It's Alfa Romeo, P3 and 4. Kuchin going very slowly out of the first couple of corners. He's losing out to Alfa Lauer. But will he fight Alfa Lauer for this? He's got DRS. No, Alfa Lauer defends from the Alfa Tori. We are on board as Jean Dojeur Jacques. Will he go wheel to wheel with Raphael Spring? Yes, he will. He's down the inside on the first DRS straight. Will he get P10? No, he will not. Raphael Spring will fight this. Almost touching coming out of that corner there. Contact there with the Haas and the Alpine. Zerzak goes down the outside. Spring goes down the inside. And Spring will continue fighters. What an epic battle here. Wheel to wheel with the Haas and the Alpine. Spring just going down the inside. Zerzak keeps fighting it. Spring goes wide on that straight there. And Spring and the Alpine are wheel to wheel. There goes Spring down the outside. And Spring gets 10th place. The Alpine, Zerzak, Relegated to P11, but will Zerzak fight this? Zerzak will get the arrest, Spring will not. He goes down the outside, goes round the outside to get P10 before the first corner. New lap, new position, Zerzak gets 10th position. We're down the DRS straight with the Alpha Tori, the Alpine and the Haas. Will Zerzak go for it? Will he go down the inside? He does not have the space, he's not managed to close it up far enough. John Z. Marston with a three second tie penalty. Zerzak tries to go down the inside, he does a switch back, tries to go down the outside, he tries to go down the inside once again, the wheel to wheel with the Alfa Tori. Zerzak might make up two positions in one of the half laps. Zerzak in P9 now as he closes the door on the Alfa Tori of Alex CXA. And Zerzak gets P7, but Spring will not allow this to happen. He goes wheel to wheel and he gets P7, Zerzak gets P8. And down the inside goes Spring on Pretorius. And down the inside goes Zerzak. Wheel to wheel with the Alfa Romeo having contact there on the side. Zerzak and Pretorius wheel to wheel, but a contact on the rear of the LP there. But Zerzak getting P7. Spring getting P6. And Pretorius losing two places and a couple of corners. Down the inside goes Zerzak getting P5. Knocking Lewin out of the top five. Lewin in P6, he was doing so well earlier in the race, but Jurczyk comes to show his skill. The leader of the championship so far is in P5. Sorry, Alfa Lauer, just outside of the points. Will he go for the inside line? No, he will not. Gabox fends them off. Down the outside. Oh, and a bit of contact there. Gabox loses P10 to Alfa Lauer. Gabox, three second time penalty. According to the FIA, that was his fault, that contact there. Lucas Dirksen getting up and close to the Alpha Tori of Alex CXA as he gets P6 as he goes down the inside, he grabs that inside line and shuts the door on the Alpha Tori down the first corner, solidifies his place in P6. Polikowski gets past Alex CXA driving very slowly, Luke Tennyson in P7 gets past Polikowski and Alex CXA. Wheel to wheel, Hubert Polikowski with the Alpha Romeo, Hubert Polikowski gets past in P8. Saeed Alpha Lauer is another three second time penalty. And wide goes Luke Tennyson. Hubert Polikowski gets P7 and the Alfa Romeo of Saeed Alfa Lauer gets P8. Wheel to wheel, Dirksen and 
Pretorius. Dirksen goes down the outside and gets that full position. Pretorius losing out in P5 currently. And down the inside goes Lucas Dirksen getting P3. Closing the door on Chuck Van Oh, and Juszczyk has spun. Pulling him out of the podium position. Lucas Dirksen getting handed P2. And Raphael Spring has won here. And it's like off. Raphael Spring coming up to the podium now. First place for Spring. Fantastic race for him. Lucas Dirksen in P2. Fantastic race for the Red Bull driver as well, who managed to get P3. Shop van Luhen for third place. And let's get a rundown of the grid. McLaren P1 overall at Interlagos. The sprint race giving Lucas Dirksen the edge over Raphael Spring. Fantastic racing here from Spring Tay in the half. First place for him in the race. Shop Van Leeuwen in P3. Four points in the sprint race and 15 points in the actual race. Leading him into the final podium position of third place. Hubert Polikowski in the other Red Bull. Fourth place. Jandor Szczerczak rounding off the top five in the Alpine. 12 points for him in the actual race. Aaron Malera in the McLaren. Eight points for him in the actual race as well for P6. Luke Tennyson, Ferrari. Seven points in the sprint race. Second place for him in the sprint race. But no points, unfortunately, for him in the actual race. Dominic Kuchin in the Alfa Tori, P8. One point in the sprint race. Six points for him in the actual race. Tied with Luke Tennyson. Syed Alfa Lousy, P9 in the Alfa Romeo. Two points in the sprint race, four points in the actual race. Seattle Austin, P10, no points in the race, however, but five points for the sprint. Yannick Platorius, Alfa Romeo, three points in the sprint and one point in the actual race. In the other Alfa Tori, two points in the actual race, no points in the sprint race. Vince David, P13 in the LP, no points in any of them. Same with Gutbox in the Aston Martin, who's in P14. Marsden in the Williams for P15. Mercedes. Aston Martin, Mercedes, Pim G, Marcelo Garcia, and Nino Galloway. P16, 17, and 18. No points in either forms of racing. Remember to subscribe, like, leave a comment, hit all those notification bells and buttons that you need to.